hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is joshua matthew if you are old here thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload a new video today i'm going to show you how to design a wedding photo album using photoshop so before any further i do let's get started Control n on your keyboard so here I'm going to enter the size. So take note of this. In this tutorial, it depends the size of the photo album you are going to design. It may be portrait or landscape. But in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a landscape wedding photo album. And the number I'm going to use is 24 by 12 then here i'm going to type the name wedding photo album then if you are going to print it make sure your resolution is 300 then and you will change this one to uh, seal myk that is for printing then, but for this tutorial, I'm going to reduce the resolution to 72 so that it will be fast to avoid slow. Then I'm going to click on Great. Before then, make sure it is Landscape. Then click on Great. So this is our background now. Now I'm going to apply my guideline. Then place it at the edges of the background. Now go to image. Then you select your canvas size. Then change it to inches. I'm going to add 0.25. Then 12.25. Then you will see additional border over here. Okay. Now I'm going to bring a guideline to the center here. Then I'm also going to bring another one to the center here. It's going to be 25%. Then I'm going to bring another one here, which will be 75%. So now, I'm going to draw a rectangle using my guideline. Then I'll position this one over here. Okay. Now I'm going to bring this image here. Then I'm going to drag it to Photoshop. All right. Then I will drag it over here i'll drag it over here and position it this way allow it to load then use your arrow key so position it this way okay now right click then create a clipping mask so this is it then i'm going to select the image then I will reduce the opacity this way 65 is okay then I'm going to select my test tool and I'm going to type the name here then close the character spacing by zero And I'm going to change the fonts to this font Amalfi Coast. Then also I'm going to change the font color to something like this. Okay. I'll position it here. Then I'm going to bring another guideline 
Now I'll position it at the center here. Then Ctrl J to duplicate this test here. And you drag it down over here. Then and I'm going to type again. Then I will change the font to Lato. Then make it medium. Then increase the character space by 160. It's okay like this. Then I'm going to select the two test. Then apply vertical alignment. Then I'm going to reduce this one. Then use your arrow key to move it up. Then you select the two test again. Then you bring it to the center here. Okay. Then again, I'm going to bring this design. Then I'll position it over here. Then scale it out a bit. Then I'm going to duplicate this test. Ctrl J. Then you bring it down. Position it here. Select your test tool. And I'm going to type um, Saturday. May 14, 2022. Then I'm going to apply this one, superscript. So, now I'm going to centralize this one position it like this then we will come back over to this area now draw a rectangle again then I'm going to use this image then you scale it out then also expand it again okay now right click then apply clipping mask so this is the outcome then also reduce the opacity to 65 okay so now this is how the background I mean the cover page come out then I'm going to group this one then you name it cover page then I'm going to turn this one off now I'm going to draw another rent angle then I'm going to enter 3000 by 3000 pesos then reduce the size then it's okay like this i'm going to leave it like this then now i'm going to bring this image then i'll scale it out Then take it up this way. Then 
Okay. Allow it to load. Then you right click. Then create a clipping mask. So this is the outcome of it. Then I want I'm going to apply a background. I'm going to use this flower. Okay, then reduce the opacity a little bit. I will leave it like this. Okay, now I'm going to draw another red angle again. Something like this. Then control J to duplicate it. Then you bring this one down. Now I'm going to select the two, then make sure it is center. Okay. Then I'm going to bring this one by zero by five percent. Or rather, I will leave it like this, 0 0.2. Then I will also do the same thing, 0 0.2. Then I will leave it this way. Now, I'm going to bring this image, reduce the size, position it here. Then right click, create a clipping mask. Then you select this one. Then I'm going to bring this image. Then you reduce it, place it on top of it. Then apply a clipping mask. Now, I'm going to scale it out. All right. So this is what we have here. Then I'm going to the background. I'm going to select a rectangle. Then I will apply this black color so it's okay now I'm going to select it then group it again then this one now is the inner page Then you turn it off. Now I'm going to draw another rent angle. Something like this. Then duplicate this one again. Then you take it over here. Make sure they are center. Then I'm going to draw another rectangle again. Something like this. Then I will centralize it this way. Then on this one, I'm going to... I'm going to place this image Okay, I'm going to use this image.
Then you right click, create a clipping mask. Alright. Then on this one, I'm going to use this image. Bring it over here. Then you right click, create a clipping mask. Then you select this one. Then I'll bring this image. Then you create a clipping mask again. Then I'm going back to the background. And I'm going to select this flower. Then you can reduce the opacity. So okay, like this. So if you want to um, apply drop shadow, you can apply a drop shadow. So something like this. The opacity is 69, the distance 1, the spread is 5, and the size is 1. So then you can copy the layer style, then you drag it here. Or you hold down your Alt key, then you drag it this way. So that is the, also another way to copy a layer style. So this is what you have here. Now I'm going to select it. Then Ctrl G to group it. Then I will also rename it. So this is the way you continue designing your album. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this tutorial, please kindly hit the subscription button. Then share and don't forget to like thank you